Hi, is this Elaine Appleton? That's me. Who's this? Rosangela Blackwell. I was in your class around 10 years ago. Rosangela, yes, yes, of course I remember you. It's been a long time. I saw you had a book published, is that right? Something like that. Do you have a few minutes? Sure, sure. What can I help you with? I'm surprised you remember me after all this time. Well, it was my first year as a professor, and you did stand out. I did? The coffee? The cup you spilled all over my desk? Oh, God. I completely forgot about that. I didn't. I had to let those papers dry out all night. I wanted to ask about a student of yours, Jamie Graham. Oh, her, yes. So tragic what happened. Tragic? You mean you don't know? She died just last week. I... no. No, I didn't. Oh, well, I'm sorry to be the one to tell you. Did you know her well? No, not really. But could I ask you some questions about her? I'm not sure what I can tell you that I already didn't tell the police, but go ahead. What can you tell me about Jamie? I hate to speak ill of her, but she was a disappointment. How so? At first, she was very keen about her work. She was a brilliant writer, but that brilliance soon faded. By midterm, she'd show up for class late and hung over, and when she showed up at all. And as for what she was wearing, well, let's just say it wasn't appropriate. What made her brilliant? She had a way of infecting you with her passion. When she loved something, she could make you love it, too. She had a keen interest in Middle Eastern history, so it was no surprise that most of her work had Middle Eastern themes to them. But as I said, that faded with time. She stopped having a passion for much of anything, I think. Such a waste. What made her brilliant? Well, like I said, she had a keen interest, but such a... You said she faded. What do you think happened to her? I don't know. I wish I did. At the time, I figured it was the typical story. Young, sheltered girl comes to the city and gets overwhelmed with the freedom of it all. Most adjust fine. Some, well, don't. I could tell she was troubled, but I learned long ago that it isn't my place to reach out. I remember you being a bit closed off, once upon a time. Yes, well, we all change. What was wrong with her clothes? I'm no prude, but what she was wearing should stay in Munray's where it belongs. Munray's? It's a nightclub. It's a popular hangout for the students here. And Jamie went there? She wore their t-shirts, so I'd assume yes. Although it was more like a half a shirt. How did Jamie die? I'm not sure. No foul play, if that's what you're asking. It was a clot in the brain or something like that. Really? That's what the police said anyway. Why were the police involved? If she died by natural causes, why involve them? I wondered the same thing myself. The detective, a man named Durkin, I believe, wasn't very forthcoming. Why were the police involved? I wondered the de Have you ever heard of a man named Gavin? Gavin? Can't say I know any Gavins. Is there anything else you could tell me about Jamie? If there's anything specific you'd like to know, just ask. Is there anything else? If That's who I'm talking to right now. So what is Munray's like? I wouldn't know. My clubbing days are long gone. I just embarrass myself. I should get going. Are you still in the city? We should have coffee sometime. Oh, uh, sure. I'm a bit wrapped up in the story, but maybe after? Sure, sure. You take care. Joey. You rang? It's been years. Camp it's been years. Camp so, any ideas? Did that professor say anything about where Jamie might have gone? She might have. Then I don't know what you're waiting for. We need to follow any lead we've got. It's been so long since... Munray's isn't really my kind of place. Well, maybe it's time to broaden your horizons. As long as I can bring earplugs. That's all for now. Yeah. Darkin. 
Hi, it's Rose Angela Blackwell. Remember me? Yeah, what do you want? I was just checking in. Any word on Jeremy's murder? Nothing yet. We're working on it. You got anything for us? I wanted to talk to you about Jamie Graham. Who? Jamie, a Columbia student. I was told you were looking into it. You get around, don't you? I think Jamie and Jeremy might be connected. Could we talk somewhere? Why should I do that? Look, you owe me, and I might be able to help you out again. You could, huh? Like you said, I get around. What the hell? I need a cup of coffee anyway. You know a place in Alphabet City called Cup of Clay? I've been there. Right. See you there. Joey, I'd like to talk to you. What is it? So? Did that professor- She might- Then I don't know what- That's all for now. Yeah. It's the detective I met up on the High Line. Hi, Detective Durkin? Oh, it's you. So, what can I do for you? So why are you looking into Jamie's death? Her teacher said it was natural. Well, she was right. It looked that way, sure enough. And? Her body was found in a dumpster off of Amsterdam. Natural or not, how did the body get in there? A dumpster? So it was murder? I didn't say that. It was three blocks away from some nightclub. We learned she was a regular, so we went over. She bought it in the upstairs room. Some kind of VIP area. One minute, dancing the night away. The next, lights out. Nobody saw how she died, just that she was dead. Anyway, the bouncer saw it and freaked, so he snuck her out and dumped her. Like I said, cut and dry, case closed. How are you sure she wasn't murdered? We have this thing called a coroner's report. Right, what did it say? I don't know the medical term, but some kind of brain vessel burst? It happens. One thing's for sure, there was no murder, just rotten luck. What else did the coroner's report say? Nothing too important, why? I don't know, could I see it? You do owe me. I don't know about that, but you certainly do get around. Look, I can't give you the actual report, but I can give you the gist. You might be nuts, but for some reason, I think you're all right. Thanks. Don't thank me. You owe me now. You got a phone? Yeah. When we finish here, I'll send you a message. So, any progress on Jeremy? Look, you helped us out on the ID, but don't push it. You know about as much as I do. So, any... Look, you know about... How did Jeremy die? What was the cause of death, I mean? Small caliber bullet to the back of the head. He never saw it coming. That's horrible. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do? Has this ever happened on the High Line before? Not like that, no. The place used to be a dump. They cleaned it up good, but some grime, you can't wash it off. Do you know anyone named Gavin? You're gonna have to be more specific than that. He's kind of a cult leader. I'm not sure what he does yet. Yet? Have you heard of him or not? Nah, sorry. Thrown away like trash. That's horrible. You're surprised? You know what happened up on the High Line. Some people are animals. They choke someone's mother to death for no good reason. You spoke to Professor Appleton. The Graham kids, Prof? Yeah, why? Well, no reason, really. This club where Jamie died. It was Munray's, wasn't it? You get around. Yeah, that was the place. How come Munray's is still open after what they did? How do you think any club stays open? They offer favors and spread money around to the right people, and the whole thing never happened. It's all hushed up. Nothing in the papers, even. Well, bye. See ya. Check it out. I got a message from Durkin. Uh-huh.
Hmm, I can't see any connection. This coroner report doesn't tell us anything we didn't already know. I don't think those are connected in any way. No answer. I guess he turned his phone off. A $20 cover for this dump? You got robbed. What? I said you got robbed. I look like a slob? No. Well, yes, kinda. Ah, just forget it.